for One News. A University of Chicago researcher dies after being exposed to a strain of bacteria that causes plague. And tonight, Malcolm Casadeban's family wants answers. The Chicago Department of Public Health says there's no sign anyone else has been exposed to the bacteria. ABC 7's Kevin Roy talked to the professor's family and joins us now with their story. Kevin. Linda and Ron, the tragic irony here is that Professor Malcolm Casadeban had been trying to develop a vaccine so that thousands of people around the world wouldn't die a painful, ugly death from a bacterial infection related to the plague. But it was that bacterium that appears to have killed him. We really thought he was so strong. We didn't see this coming at all. Not only did they not see it coming, but sisters Lee and Brooke Casadaban say their father never knew what killed him. It was just so much of a shock. Um, Even the time that he was in the ER, from the moment he got accepted to the time he passed away, we had no idea. We didn't even get to say goodbye to him. 60-year-old Malcolm Casadaban was a professor of molecular genetics at the University of Chicago for 30 years. For the past eight years, his daughters say he'd been working with a strain of bacteria called Yersinia pestis, trying to develop a stronger vaccine for the plague, once the world's worst health scourge. The weakened strain he was using, however, isn't supposed to make healthy people sick. And that is the big mystery now for investigators with the Centers for Disease Control and the state and city public health departments. Was it a change in the organism? Or was there something about the, the person who was affected that made him uniquely susceptible? We don't really know the answers to that yet. It was hurtful just because we remember our father is very healthy. Brooke and Lee Casadaban say they're not satisfied with the answers they've been given so far. How did their father, who had flu-like symptoms, enter the hospital a week ago Sunday morning and die 12 hours later with no one suspecting that it could be related to the plague? Lee is following in her father's footsteps, now attending MIT, his alma mater, and says it may be up to her to solve this. I plan to go to the lab to read his papers and to read his notes, and I plan to go and just try to really understand exactly what he was trying to do. Lee and Brooks say they've been told that their father is the first person in the Chicago area to die from this bacterium, an infection that is usually cured with antibiotics. They say they're not eager to file a lawsuit, but Ron and Linda, they are wondering now if someone at the hospital or at the university should have been able to catch this before mm-hmm. it was too late. It's a mystery. All right, yeah. thank you.